I've got a confession to make and it's something I'm not proud of. I am deep into the TikTok rabbit hole of desperate attention-seeking behavior. I'm so embarrassed to say that, downright ashamed. I'm like an 80-year-old woman and TikTok has become my soap opera. It's just this captivating train wreck I can't help but look at. It, these aren't even like people anymore, they're just clout zombies. An insatiable appetite for internet attention, updutes, and increased follower account. Bigger number, better person. And they will do anything to get a bigger number. And nothing is off limits. I swear to God, they would dig up their dead grandmother as a devious lick challenge. They'd fucking shove a Tide Pod down the throat of their dog if it meant more views on their TikTok page. It is just truly this battle where people are coming up with the most outrageous and most deplorable ways of getting internet clout as fast as possible. And that includes faking abuse. Okay guys, this muffin I got from, I think it was from like some grocery store, is so good. Like, I have no idea why the fuck you keep recording yourself eating. You're fat and you're overweight. Yeah, I couldn't find the original video since she took it down after admitting it was all fake. All smoke and mirrors, nothing's real. You got fooled and it was all a play for attention. So I found this video of a guy watching it and reacting to it. Yeah, so right away you'll notice the acting's pretty dog shit. It's Tommy Wiseau level, sounding like something out of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers here. It actually just comes across like a Darman video for real. Like, stop eating the muffin. You're fat and overweight. Dude fat shames his girlfriend, lives to regret it. But you have to remember, most people on TikTok are actual children. A lot of them haven't even developed object permanence yet. Like, if I put this phone behind my back, they think it disappears. And those are the people that are using TikTok mainly, so when they see something like this, they're just gonna take it at face value. But it's not just kids. Like, no one really expects someone to fake an emotional abuse video for views on TikTok. You'd have to be a real piss stain in a gas station urinal to try some shit like that. So most people assumed it was all real, and especially victims of emotional abuse came forward to support the creator here. And this spread very rapidly on TikTok. She gained like 100,000 followers as a result of it, with people just pouring tons of support into it. I have no idea why you keep, why you keep wanting to record that. I'm gonna, I just want to show TikTok my muffin. Like, why did you have to go there? But when you're fat and overweight, TikTok shouldn't be a priority. It should be losing weight for me. Alright, Mark. Wow. What a piece of shit. Show this woman love and support. Please. But just, wow. Yeah, not exactly classically trained actors from Juilliard or anything, but it was effective enough to gain 100,000 followers and convince people she was in an emotionally abusive relationship with a piece of shit boyfriend. And she got a lot of support for it, and the views were very positive for her. Also, the dialogue is, of course, really awful. They, they didn't have much of a script here. It sounds like dialogue out of Death Stranding. You're fat, overweight, eating muffin, bad. Lose weight because you're fat, overweight, lose weight for me, okay? It actually just sounds like a, like a parody that you would read on Reddit underneath a post about like an incel or some shit. It, it's not well executed, but it was good enough that a lot of people believed it initially. And then people eventually started pointing out things that didn't make much sense and calling into question the authenticity of it to the point where the creator eventually came forward to confirm that, yeah, she faked all of it for attention. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here. I haven't posted in a few days and it's mainly because I've just been feeling very bad about myself and... I'm just gonna come out, I'm gonna say it, this is the video for all you guys who want it. The muffin video was scripted, everything was scripted. Lying again, are we? This wasn't scripted, there was no script here, and if it was, it was written by a four-year-old. You just improv something that you thought would sound like emotional abuse, you just told your friend to just say like, hey, just call me overweight while I'm eating this muffin. That was it. That's all the thought that went into it. You knew that it would gain traction because no one likes to see a woman getting belittled and insult insulted, especially not by their boyfriend, uh, you know, so you knew it would be a viral video for you, but you didn't script shit. You faked it. Don't say you scripted it. You're giving yourself far more credit than you deserve. Nothing was authentic. Nothing was real. Nothing was true. Um, I want to thank all the accounts who are holding me accountable because that's what we should be doing in today's society and... 
um after the muffin video you're probably like well why do you keep why'd you keep going i love that line when someone makes an apology video after getting caught with their ass in their own mouth uh, actually i'm super glad you're all holding me accountable this was really a social experiment to make sure that everyone was ready to hold someone like me accountable for these actions it was all staged in order to empower all of you to hold me accountable so thank you for that, and you all passed the test. Come on, we know you're not happy about that, so take the mask off, drop the act, just be like a Scooby-Doo villain who gets caught. I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids, you fucking turbo nerds. And that's what, if you notice, I have another TikTok, that's what my marketing team told me to do. They said keep going, like, continue to grow, continue to grow. As a person, though, it just keeps eating me inside. They told me don't make this video because you're gonna get so much hate and it's like i don't care you guys can hate on me you can do whatever you want i literally don't give a shit but where'd you get your marketing team off fiverr or something just like one guy in his basement who says he's a marketing expert what kind of strategy is that no no just keep going that way it just keeps building and building and then you look even stupider when you eventually have to fold because it's become too much and people are shitting all over you on tiktok that's not marketing that's self-sabotage what you have is uh, like a double agent who must be working for like your arch nemesis on TikTok trying to like sink your career. It's a terrible idea. It's a horrible strategy. Though I do like the scapegoat. I, I don't know if she has a marketer that could just be like someone she's pushing blame on in order to make herself look a little bit better. Like, listen, you plebeians, I win against math and science. My marketing team, all 500 of them, all of them told me don't do it. They begged me not to make this video, but I knew. In order to be the morally perfect person that I am, I needed to come forward and own up to my one and only mistake. I said, damn the numbers, damn the data, I'm doing what's right. Even though it was probably just her and her friend that hatched this idea as just a quick viral video knowing to, that they'd be able to capitalize off an emotional abuse situation in order to get like some pity follows or just some supportive messages and validation. It's just really disgusting all around. And I do wonder if there is a marketing team here at all. I just want to make it clear that if I lose 150,000 followers, that's fine as long as everyone knows that this video was not to hurt anyone. There were no bad intentions. Because TikTok is an entertainment app, that's purely what it was for, entertainment. What the fuck is entertaining about witnessing emotional abuse? Like, where's the fun? Was I supposed to sit there and watch the video and be like, Oh, hey, oh, just like a jolly old belly laugh. Like, oh my god, she's eating a muffin and getting insulted for it. Hey, top notch, this is what I'm fucking talking about, like. Like, what does she watch for fun? Beheading videos? How could you possibly think people would like be entertained by watching abuse. There's nothing enjoyable or wacky or goofy about it. It's just sad. Like it is just sad. And it's especially insulting to people who actually have been through abuse like that, who would have watched that video and been like, oh my God, this is so terrible. And then like actually relate to it only to be told, no, I lied about it. I staged it just because I wanted more followers. It was just supposed to be entertaining. It's like, oh, it was just supposed to be entertaining. Okay, so abuse is just entertainment to you. It's, you know, it's just an, it's an insulting, silly fucking concept. Um, I did, however, do the breaking up text, which I wasn't supposed to do. My marketing team told me to continue with the whole abusive boyfriend or, like, boyfriend calling me fat. But um, I made that video just to, for the young girls on this app just to show them that if you're treated that way, it's important to leave. That contradicts everything you just said, that you did it for entertainment. Now you're trying to spin it where you're doing something more heroic than you actually were. This wasn't some kind of PSA where it's like, hey girls, if you've been in a relation like a relationship like this, you need to leave. That was never the message. It was you being insulted, and then apparently she did like a follow-up where she broke up with her boyfriend over a text or something, which of course was also staged. But at no point was it ever supposed to be something to like, inspire or get people to reflect on their own relationship. As you just said, it was for entertainment, which is fucking stupid. I'm really a stand-up person, and I'm big on my morals, and this completely went against that. Um, was it just all for TikTok and views? Yeah, it was, and that's, I know, it's sad. It really is. Um, I also want to let you know I did not profit off this. I was not in the creator fund while I was doing this. I did not profit at all. She's being very honest here, just fully admitting she did it all for views and that sweet, sweet attention. Attention is more valuable than oxygen, honestly. It's just that 
precious lifeblood to the modern human. And she may not have profited financially from it. She says she wasn't in the creator fund, so didn't make any money off it. But she earned something more important than money. Clout. Money's temporary. Clout is forever. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit since I've been so deep into this TikTok attention-seeking culture. And uh, that's really about it. See so, ya. Yeah.